Welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. In this video today, we are playing Pebble Beach Golf Course with the Flightscope Mevo Plus and TGC 2019. I met up with someone through Discord. Uh, he has a SkyTrack unit and there are a little server issues today with TGC. Supposedly, they're getting a little overloaded uh, with the amount of people that are adding golf simulators to their homes. Uh, obviously, a lot of people at home uh, able to play at one time. So we have some connection issues. We get through, I wanna say about five or six holes here. So um, sit back and enjoy, and let me know what you think in the comments about you know Pebble Beach and TGC 2019, as well as the Flightscope Mevo Plus and what you wanna see coming up in uh, the next video. So appreciate you watching as always. Be sure to subscribe and I'll go ahead and fade it over. Good stuff. Pin's not too bad of a position. So have you been playing much? Oh, I've been working on the setup. That's what I kind of figured. I, I've been playing a little bit, doing some video. That's short. Damn. I got in, I got in like 12 holes like two nights ago, and then I think I played 18 the night before, but like in the last week I played literally less than 30 holes. Yeah. Yeah, that's not the norm right now, right? <laughs> yeah, no, not, not at all. <laughs> Watch for there. Oh, nice ball. Roll up there. I think it should be the same they were before. Yeah, and I might have to check mine. We'll just kind of look what see what happens this hole. Um I did I did not look. But I like how oh, no, I maybe we should maybe we should check now before the next hole because you said it resets per hole. Yeah, it seems like it doesn't activate it that way. So you go to Settings, gameplay. I'm on three yards and three yards, so that's good, right? Yeah. All right, so three yards and three yards. Oh, I guess I better make sure my gimme is on real quick. Yeah. Always forget about that. So settings. Yeah, wait, wait before you hit, so I can do it too. So that's more the next hole. Yep. Gimme roll. Gimme. Do you do gimme or do you do distance? Uh, oh, my, oh, my, you know what? My gimme was off because of the freaking round I played the other night, the guy, there was no, we had to put everything out. Well, there you go. So turn it on now and we'll have it for the next hole. All right, we're good. Good stuff. Do you ever have a tough time converting from like yards to feet? Because when you get closer in E6, it's feet and then on E, uh, PTC, it's yards. I like, you know, we gotta remember to do the math. Yeah, yeah, no, it, I didn't know exactly what you're saying. Ah. Uh, oh, man, I just did too much. Too much. I hit it to the hole rather than short. Not using my brain. 13 feet, that sucker is breaking hard. And it's downhill. I'm still getting used to, you know, aligning these putts and knowing these greens. Yeah, it's tricky. Get in. You're a putt machine, man. I uh, <laughs> well, here's the deal. You know what they tell you out, outdoors? You should spend a little bit of time on the range, and you spend a lot of time chipping and putting. I'm not going to lie. I like the practice facilities on all the software I have, and so I really mess around on the practice facilities a lot. There you go. It's definitely helped. I've, I was very poor a couple months ago. Oh! Oh, it dropped! 
I think it, it dropped. Oh, man, that's because it, it took my extra stroke and it dropped. Oh, it took your stroke and dropped. Oh. And your bowl disappears when it, take, when it takes your... Uh, yeah, your yeah, rather than roll in. No. Bummer. That's all right. Well, I'll take it. Hey, we're on the second hole and we haven't disconnected. So that's a good thing. Exactly. I wonder how many people it took and before they started having surveys. It's probably thousands more than four months ago. Oh, where's my mess? Oh. That was no point. First driver of the day. Well, you know, where I'm sitting, it, you know, I might be safe, but I'm not in a good position at all because this is a long hole and you pretty much now I have to lay up, I think, before that ravine. I didn't, uh, I didn't hit that one too great either, so. So, where the hell does it have me aimed right now? It has me chipping out? No. Not going to do that. Definitely going to go for it. Nine iron layup. I mean, there's no way I could. Yeah. Six iron, seven iron. Maybe I'll just do like a seven. That's a big old bunker down there. Right? Well, that's the thing. I don't even know if it's going to tell you. You can hit it from down there, so I know I'm not clearing it, so I'm, I'm just going to lay up and it's a par five, you know? Pretty sure it would tell me, though, how far it was. Let's see. Well. Nice ball. Gotta go. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I caught just a little behind the ball, man. That's always what cracks me up about the simulators. You know, if, if anybody thinks they're not accurate, all I gotta do is just hit a little behind the ball. They'll, they'll show you how accurate they are. Wow. 
Yeah. Yeah. Got to get that uh, chipping game. This is a flopper, huh? Yeah. This is where it's nice, though. TGC has that cue button, and you can actually look ahead and see where you need to land it, you know? That's tough. Wow, nice touch. I can't believe you did not putt that. You're uh yeah. But you know, putting, I mean, my distance in putting is just, I don't know, it's harder for me, I think. Yeah. And is that because you, your Skytrack's only allowing you to roll it so far, really? So it's kind of like. I don't think it's so much that, it's just more of like, I'm more visual putting than I am in the lot of other things. Okay. No, didn't get it there. Not bad, though. No, I had a look at a birdie at least, but... On a par, bogey, bogey. This is a cool hole if you can play a draw around the corner, it's sweet. I don't know if you watched the U.S. Open last year. I was lucky enough to uh, go out there. It was my wife's birthday, and we did a birthday trip. And, I mean, watching these guys, like, just aim over this corner. I watched Rory on this hole. It was ridiculous. I mean, just ridiculous. And they're, they're further back than this. Oh yeah, that, that was a toe shot that I guess is horrendous, but this little CLS Mercedes down there. Oh, that could be the line. Was that driver? That was driver. I'm not. I'm not swinging real solid right now. It's yeah, but that was like a low singer driver. <laughs> it was perfect. It was uh, nothing wrong with that. Well done. One seventy three out of the heavy rough. This is going to be all of a sudden. Yeah, you landed it right where you want to be. Oh, it's going to be full. Yep. Felt it the minute I hit it. Five. 
for person. Sometimes when I go to zoom in, it doesn't let me aim to my aim. Wow, and you're just using right left arrow. Uh, Q and uh, or A and D. Oh, and you're actually physically aiming left and right. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, I pushed the crap out of that. Oh my god. <laughs> I yanked mine, man. <laughs> oh, you're, you're on one side in a bunker and I'm on the other. <laughs> oh. I never really aim left and right because I can aim left and right, you know, for the most part. Uh, yeah, that's, that's true. That is true. Because there's two different types of aiming. You know, you can, you, you can cue in left and right with the arrow. Or you could on the T box turn your guy, you know. And I guess I don't turn the guy that much. This is so tough. I better look ahead here. Twenty nine yards. So I need to carry it like twenty yards. I flop it up. The sand is like a forty percent deduction. Hit my ceiling. Oh, and I didn't give it enough. I flopped it too much. No, not really. It's making me thinking down. I mean, I flopped it so hard, you know. As, as John said, not amazing. I got a fun one, too. It's on the other side, though. Oh man, I'd rather, would rather have your shot. <laughs> There's a little bit of a, you're going to have to flop this too. So I gotta hit this, I, I think I gotta pretty much hit this 15 yards with the penalty. Well, and that's the thing, I was trying to gauge the 40 and I don't think I hit it enough. I think that, that the greenside bunkers are tough, man. Come on, baby. Oh! I can't see it on my end. It hasn't shot yet. Oh, yeah. There it goes. Oh, it hit the pin. You could hear it hit the pin. Oh, I thought it was going in, man. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, at least you don't have a 45 foot pot like me. No. Technically, 35 to the pin. It's, it's, it's going both ways, so it's like, what do I do here? Aim a little left? This is crazy. Oh, boy. I'll go eight inches, too. Yeah, connection must have slowed down a little bit there. Okay, now you're supposed to break left. You're supposed to break left. Did it? I can't even. Where am I at? Uh, nope. For a bogey. Didn't stay in the friend zone. Wow. So we're playing six feet? I thought that three yards is nine feet. I know. You know, we had that going on, though, the other night we were playing three. It was like it wasn't always working. That's messed up. Getting, getting hosed here. Got a tough little putt here, too. Eagle Plus better, better read this soft putt. Oh, I did it to myself. Light break. Dude, is that a double? Man, what a bummer. Must have been more, because it said that putt was 9 feet. That went past the hole. It, it was downhill, though. Yeah, but I'm, I'm saying, like, your guessing for the game might actually have been, like, uh, 
Oh, you're right. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh, it's tied up. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I blew. I blew sitting even at par. Oh, dude, this is a scary hole. Yeah, don't go right. Oh, <laughs> all David Hasselhoff to the right. Good. Oh. Safe though. Set. Set. And that's a small deduction on the fairway bunker. It was a seven percent. Seven or fourteen, I want to say. That doesn't seem to be much at age. No, almost, almost not houseboy now. Yeah, I think deep rough's 14% and 7% uh, fairway bunker. All right, hold on. Nice. First cut. Yeah. Oh, first cut, yeah. Alright. Oh, I gotta get like a 95 yarder. Yeah, you're 10 feet, 10 feet uphill and it's gonna deduct you a little bit. Oh, get down. That's a good ball. Get down. Nice. Those very soft greens, though, that was a realistic bounce, you know? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't one of those super giant hops. I know. It hops that, like, from the front of the green to the back. <laughs> 73 yards. Eight feet up hill. Ah, uh, that's a little right. Damn. Oh, Oh, too far right. All right, so that, oh, it says nine yards, though. That's probably outside giving two. Yeah. Oh, you're in. Think so? You always tell, if you look at your score in the top left, there's a one, and you the next hole. Gotcha. Cool. Good stuff. That's funny, so it worked that time. Oh, God. Woohoo! Holy yeah. smokes. What happened there? See, I tell you, man. That's the first thing to go when, when I don't putt or play on simulators. Is putting. Damn. And that was downhill, so it just kept going. Back, back to the chipper.
Get a hole. Holy crap. Damn, they're at moderate, too. Pebble Beach, man. They roll them out. Yes, so. Yeah. Yeah, this is the one thing I really need to work on. It's just simulators. Green seeds. Yeah, it drops off. Be careful. Get in. Ah. <laughs> All right. Now you just got to tap it just close. It's going to have an eight feet. Well, but I still got to put it. Which means, so that's an eight footer? That makes no sense. We're playing nine feet. Uh, you know, it's, it's 3.1 feet. 3.1 feet per yard, right? Well, yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's 3.1 or just three, but yeah. That. Well, technically, I, I believe the actual measurement is 3.1, but I usually use three just as a round up, but a round down, right? There you go. Nice pot. That was brutal. Get out of there, right? Humble. That was a nice pot, though. Look at this one. 190. Oh, look at the fin placement. Oh, God. Oh, you're right. I'm on the Q button and it's not letting me move left or right now. Yeah. Sometimes when you back off and go back on, then it starts working. Nope. Looks like me, we're manually aiming. <clears throat> All right. Six iron, I guess. Beautiful hole, but geez, man. This is, uh, this is the real deal. Oh, yeah, I got too much of it. They didn't want to come up short. No, that's why I swung after it. I mean, I took probably 10% extra swing just, you know, thinking I needed to get it there. And, oh, I got it there. Get there, get there, get there. Well, you're, you're safe though. I had to catch every bit of that six iron and cut her out a little off the door and whatever, and that's what happened. Yeah. Okay. No ring to work with here. Really flop this son of a bitch. Mom. Oh. oh, just that thick stuff grabbed it. If it would have probably bounced in the short at least first, that just sucked it right up. Apparently, all I had to do was get on the green, and that was really good. Ah. So, now it's letting me aim a little bit. 18 yards. So, <clears throat> nice pot. I need to only. I'll see, and it has me on a 9 iron. I don't like that. About forty footer here. Oh, 
Roll. Roll. Roll has a chance. Oh, oh I that. I Thank you. you. Oh, as long as I can chip a ball. I was going to say, man, seven yards. So <laughs> These little chips, I mean, I don't even know if I can do them. I'm going to, like, land it on my, like, edge of my screen. Yeah, I didn't read it. 20 feet. Uh, it's got me out. It's got me a lot of wedge. I mean, the Mevo Plus does, does read a, a short chip well, but, I mean... The problem is you're trying to land it so short, you know, I mean, you're barely, barely hitting it. Out outdoors, you're barely hitting it in real life, you know? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh lip burner. Give him yeah, one. I mean, I'm pretty happy with my Sky Dragon. I mean, for the most part, it, it, it's... Yeah. I, I, I mean, most, most users seem pretty happy, you know? The only thing I hear, like I've told you before, is the little delay, which, I mean, it seems like most people, like you said, are just, you know, used to it. Like, you you don't worry about it. Yeah, it doesn't bother you at all. Yeah. And then I think some Evo Plus people uh, had left and... Oh, no. Lost connection again. So are you on still? Uh, no, I lost it. We can still put up. We're a local and resume. Go online. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's going to let me. I thought we were beating the system for sure. It's attempting to reestablish. Mine's at least attempting here. It didn't seem like it was down for long, but we couldn't get it back. Come on. Mine's stuck right now. That's still the same for me. Come on. Maybe it would be sexy, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> Just bounce back and forth, get a hole or two. Oh, man. Well, you know, if neither of us play TGC, we could try to resume maybe, uh, you know, tomorrow or something. <laughs> Because our games are sitting there. I mean, I don't really plan. I don't plan on using it, so I'll let it sit there. I don't. Like that, that round will stay there for a couple days, I think. So you can go in and resume it from that position. Okay. See, I didn't know how long it would sit there. I knew it, it would sit there. You know, I thought it was indefinitely, but. Uh, well, I mean, that was fun. We got a couple holes in. You know. Uh, no, I don't know. I hear you. Oh, maybe try again tomorrow or another day. All right, rock and roll, man. I appreciate it. Have a great night. Thank you, Jim. All right, see ya. All right, so you'll see that we uh, got booted out of Pebble Beach. I was playing against a uh, Discord user uh, that has SkyTrack. I have the Flightscope Mevo Plus, and we were uh, going to do an E6 game. They have some server issues, and now TGC 2019 is having some issues. Apparently, there are so many users jumping into online golf during the COVID-19 or coronavirus you know, shutdowns that it's become wildly popular and apparently causing some server issues. So we might try to resume this round later, but at least you got to see Pebble Beach. We played uh, you know, several holes there, um, you know, one through five, and you got to see some good action. And we'll, you know, jump back on there and bring you guys some new videos soon. Comment below. Please subscribe and like. Hit that bell. That way you know when new videos are coming out. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.